Now, this isn't in my remarks, but since we're in such a great mood, is there another Margaret in the audience? If there's another Margaret with a little loose chains in the cushions, you've got yourself a mayor and a new best friend. No, seriously, thank you all. What a fabulous, fabulous gift for the people of Dallas. Finally, we have one other group that's working to make this a reality, and I would, this is an open invitation to any of you in the audience that may catch Trinity Fever and want to be involved. If you want to be involved with Trinity Commons, we can put you to work there. We have another organization, Trinity Trust, and our sole purpose is to work to raise private funds to make this a great project rather than a functional project. We are going to build lakes. We're going to improve the levees. We're going to build the roadway. But we can just have lakes and rivers and roadways. Or we can have a project that's worthy of these bridges. To make that happen, we have to raise private money to do that. We have an organization called the Trinity Trust Foundation, and there is no woman better suited to lead us in this effort and to nurture this vision than our president and one of our founders, Gail Thomas. Join me in welcoming her to the stage. Thank you, Ron Kirk, and thank you for your vision. And I want to introduce now the one whose energy and dynamism is going to make it happen. Our mayor, Laura Miller, when she became mayor, had one project in mind that she was going to be a champion for, and that is the Trinity River in Dallas, Texas. She said, we demand that we're going to make this Trinity River something that will benefit all the people of Dallas, all the citizens of Dallas. We want it to be a place of recreation and fun, a place we can gather by the river. And our mayor has been a true intrepid champion of this project. The city of Dallas is so grateful to her. We owe her an enormous debt. I introduce you now to the mayor of Dallas, the Honorable Laura Miller. Santiago Calatrava. He is an architect and an engineer. More importantly for us, he is poetic, he is lyrical, he is a visionary, he is an artist, and he's also very young, as you shall see in a moment. Today, we break ground on our Eiffel Tower for Dallas, and that is not an understatement. Thank you, Calatrava, for giving us a new long-awaited and unforgettable icon. After seven long years of waiting for the Trinity River Project to visibly start for our Dallas citizens, we start today with a giant clap of creative thunder, with a white spidery cable suspension bridge that is 40 stories tall, fabulous and remarkable, grand yet graceful, the greatest icon that Dallas will ever build and it will come in threes. No other American city has a large vehicular bridge designed by Santiago Calatrava. No city in the entire world has three large bridges designed by Santiago Calatrava. Dallas will be the only one. While the first bridge, which breaks ground this afternoon, the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge, is being constructed over the Trinity, the second bridge over the river on Interstate 30, our gateway west of Fort Worth, will also be under construction. And the good news today is that Calatrava informs me that he has been doing lots of designs on paper for our third bridge, and he is anxious to unveil it in 2006, which is great news for us. I think what is so significant for us is that the first two bridges are fully funded. And I promised Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison, Congressman Pete Sessions, and Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson that I would never talk about the Trinity River ever without thanking them, because this year we got the last $60 million to fund the second bridge. So thank you to them.
I don't think anyone at City Hall, maybe not even Mrs. McDermott, realized when they decided to ask Calatrava to design our bridges just how incredibly famous he would become. This year in 2005, he won the gold medal, which is the highest honor bestowed by the American Institute of Architects. They gave him the award, and this is what they said. Calatrava's work is like music, well orchestrated. It is architecture that delights and finds new meaning each time it is experienced. It expresses the energy of the human spirit, captivating the imagination and delighting us in the wonder of what sculptural, sculptural form and dynamic structure can accomplish. Calatrava defines the reason for the gold medal. We know his work because we see it almost every day in the national and international media. He designed the Olympic Stadium in Greece for the 2004 Olympic Games. He did the extension for the Milwaukee Art Museum, which has tripled the attendance of the museum overnight when it opened. He has designed the transit station for, Grand Z for Ground Zero in New York City, which will be the icon structure with the Freedom Tower there. He also has just designed the, free, the Fordham Spire in Chicago, which is a large residential tower that if and when it's built, will be the largest building in the United States. He is currently designing the Atlanta Symphony Center, and more than anything, he designs bridges. All soaring art pieces, all brilliant white, all different, all signature pieces for their cities. I want to thank a few people. I want to thank former Mayor Ron Kirk and the City Council in 1997 to 1999 who got the Trinity River package passed. But for that, we would not be here today. I want to thank the five City Councils who have said we will stay united and focused on making sure that this project happens. And I want to thank the future mayors and city councils who will make sure that we finish this project and do the city of Dallas proud. I especially want to thank the citizens. You have been patient. Today is the beginning. And what is so remarkable is that once we start, there will be no stopping because construction will continue on the bridges, the lakes, the wetlands, the trails, the Great Trinity Forest. Our project has arrived, and thank you very much for being here today to be part of history. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Miller, for your indomitable spirit. And we're going to show you a um, documentary that will introduce Santiago Calatrava's work to you.